Bonnie and Shane. I'm Charles. Bonnie. Haley. Bill. And tonight we're going to do some improv from you with you. We need to start off with a suggestion. Uh, how about um, post office? Post, post office. office. Post office. Thank you. Okay. Great. Uh, we have three left hands, and this is post office. Are you gonna monologue? Can you start? <laughs> sure. break. They think it's arcane to still even use post offices with Amazon and the ubiquity of our technological world. And I'm in line and there's one woman that is going extremely slow, arguing with a couple for pretty much the entire 15 minutes that I'm waiting in line about what size box they should use and then what size or what brand of tape they should use because there's different tape for priority mail, and most people don't ever bring tape or pens or anything that you would need, let alone stamps, to ship anything at the post office. I think it's the most unprepared place that people find themselves. Thankfully, I went to the right of the line and was met by a young woman who was extremely competent, probably the fastest checkout I've ever had once I finally got to the counter of a post office ever. And I don't know why it struck me that she was so competent because again i think of post office and mail as definitely snook, uh, <laughs> slow and snail like but i really had to point out to her that she was great and i might actually take that survey at the bottom of the receipt that they circle every goddamn time i think that got the stamps on here correctly so uh, we should be good to go this time <laughs> I, that's the it's, it's the three inch tape. It's got the, the eagle on it. It's, yeah, these stamps. That's not enough. I'm afraid you're gonna need some more stamps on this. That's a certain I, amount that you need for a certain size box. I used an entire blue ink pad for my daughter's arts and crafts shelf. So you're out. I'm I'm out. The blue stamp. Well, that's okay. You're in the right place to get more. Oh, thank goodness. The problem is you need that other line. So this is the mailing. We don't sell stamps here. So oh, you're gonna have look, to. Uh, there's like 30 people in that line. Look, Dave. Dave. This is guy I brought today. Okay, well there's something maybe I can do. Okay, but listen, this can't get around, right? I have. I've got one. I've got a roll of stamps right here. Okay, I can just. I'll do you a favor. Can put a stamp on. Okay. This is okay. Funny. I guess I'm it's gotta cost some money. There's nothing in this world that's free. No, it's on me. You, you winked. No, no, I didn't wink. No, no. This will never come back to haunt you. Is, is that the trash? So you're telling me that in order to use my coupons at this Kroger, I have to fill out the survey at the bottom of the receipt first, and then I get these discounts? Ma'am, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them blindly. I, I just wish you would maybe do your job a little better and kind of see things from my perspective. Aren't you in customer service after all? Well, the objectives of my job are to follow the rules, and if you want me to break the rules and get fired? Well, I mean, I don't really care if you get fired, so if you do want to break the rules for me, I think I could, you know, maybe help you get a job somewhere else. And I'll, I'll say good things about you in the survey as you're on the way out. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Instead of taking the 15 seconds to take the GE survey, you're going to instead volunteer your own time to get me a job somewhere else where you think I would be a better fit? That is true. And somewhere else that I think uh, you'd, be, you'd be better suited with your level of aggression and whatnot. I, I just don't level of aggression? Yeah. You're, you're a little high strung for, for a Kroger checkout employee, and I just want to use these coupons now. Hon, I'm at about four. 
Pun? Pun? You saying pun makes me want to take it to a 4.3. Oh. Which means you're going to get a 3.4 on your survey. They're finally here. Oh, can't believe it. Yeah. We've been waiting so long for these to come Yeah, in. the designs we haven't made. I started belligerently swearing at them. I turned my back on them, and then I thought for sure I was done with the interview, and they said, you're hired. That sounds about fair, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, so we're here, uh, hail, hail comes, or snow come. I mean, hail storms, sleet storm, any kind of storm you can imagine, we're, we're out working. Firestorm? Firestorms, Ethan, firestorms. That sounds like a great opportunity to lose a whole bag of mail. I think we should head right into it. Well, I mean, you can lose some mail along the way, you just can't do it all in one day because people start noticing. You're really going to want to target like those birthday cards, I, anniversary cards, any kind of card, really. I swear, I'm not supposed to be opening them to check the cash. No, no, we just assume that they have cash in them. Those are the right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Never yeah, the ones with nothing in it. That's whatever, you know, sentimental value. Sure, sure. I, uh, we need some more checks. So look, I'll go, I'll go to the bank and get them, but I just want you to know that I am a little resentful that we can't even need paper checks in this day and age. Why can't we just have an app, you know, to pay our bills? I know, right? I mean, it really puts a strain on us as roommates to have to cut these damn paper checks off. I, know. I hate going to the bank. I wish there was just a barcode on my arm, right? Like, let's just skip the whole app thing. I want the technology exactly. inside me. Yeah. I always have my arm with me. Invent the money, encode it. It's not that simple. I mean, it's not that hard, you know? It's like, it's pretty simple. I mean, so sometimes like, I'm like, phone keys, wallet, but sometimes I'm like, well, I got this arm. So yeah, just, I know. And you're a developer, so I don't know. Maybe we got some kind of business idea coming on. Maybe I could work on this, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll go get the checks. Well, I mean, I am still willing to go to the yeah, you can do it. I do enough around this place anyways. Alright folks, uh, got a little bit of a problem with our last rollout. Um, as you may or may not uh, have seen, these t-shirts went out to oh, about uh, 23,000 of our subscribers. Um, now, I know what you're asking. Whose penis is that? I, that's not the question I, I have in mind. No, no, that's the question we're here. I know, I, I is that, know. Like, that looks familiar to you? Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say like a shoddy circumcision. Okay, so I got botched. But hey, we're running this. I'm a little more concerned about how we're going to apologize to our customers and whose fault this is, not well, necessarily where the penis is. So goes. so here's the spin we're gonna put on it, right? Okay. We're not we're not gonna apologize. Equality. One of each. We're gonna bring uh, okay. yeah. his and hers. So right. So we got the his. We need to know who our new spokes penis belongs to. I'm pretty sure Dave has a good I, idea. I, I think we need to go back with what Phil was saying and focus on how it's going to land with people. I think, how do you know whose penis that is, Dave? That's I, average, right? Well, I mean, it's average. It's average. Average. 
but I think he's right. We should maybe just really focus on how it's going to land in the, in the, you know. But Dave, it seems like you know whose penis that is. I think we need to be sensitive That's to either here or here. Or here. Well, well, it belongs to. It's been all over social media. We're getting hits what for they say? website. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe are you so interested? Well, just, it's, it's, you know, the, the, no, right. no, no press is bad press, right? So we got to take ownership of it. That's how we're going to sell. Just got ping from uh, Pornhub. It went in. Bingo, baby. Yeah. So, uh, look, I can I can do you this favor. All right, <sighs> just one time. I know you didn't bring a bag, but I have a bag here. I can put it. Oh, in. thank you. I can put your groceries in the bag. Oh. This one time. And don't worry. Look, it's no charge. Sorry. But is that is that a plastic bag? Yeah, it's plastic. It's all we have here. I can't, I can't be seen walking out with a plastic bag. Okay, well that's fine. Hey, we'll just leave your groceries here. You can come back. Bring, I, bring your bag. I mean, can we? Uh, I got an idea. Um, why don't you take off your sweater, or tie the sleeves up, put the groceries in there, and then, and then it's reusable. Sir, I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, I, I really think that that's that's the appropriate. Departure at this point. That's how you're going to serve me as as a customer. Do you want these groceries or not? Yes, and I want them tied up in your sweater so I can walk out the door. Look, I don't do this for everyone, but I happen to have a spare sweater under the counter. Okay, so I'm going to tie it up. Thank you again for getting me in to get this hemmed up before I start the, start the next season. Um, these shorts are, you know, they give them to you and you, you're not supposed to modify them, but I like to really get them up there um, so they're not, you know, dog targets when I'm running, delivering the mail and whatnot. Oh, oh, of course. No, I understand that you have a difficult job, much more difficult than mine, in fact. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty standard what you're doing. Uh, I'm putting my life on the line every day, but yeah. not for everybody. Sometimes uh, I, I stab myself with a needle because I forgot to wear the thimble. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous. And those are some pretty sad days. <laughs> no, it's good because like you can have roles throughout society. You can't have the same role. You know? Not everybody can be heroes or whatnot. Well, now that I have your attention, I mean, we're talking more than most of my customers. Can I get you to fill out a quick survey while you're up here? Gosh, yeah. I'm getting so chubby. Dad, all my birthday cards look like they're open. There's no money in any of these. Well, nobody sends money anymore, son. Uh, they just, you know, they uh, they PayPal. There's no PayPal in any of these either. And your birthday haircut's done. Might be. Yeah, it's better to get home look at it. No, that's. I mean, Grandma Denise. She she never sends money. She's an old cheap bastard. That poor lady. Have a rad birthday. Enjoy this 20. There's no 20 in it. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where, where, where the money could have gone. Uh, you see my new watch? Carl, you're really? such a great young man. Here, have a 10. Yeah. That almost it's, rhymes, even. It's Fitbit. <laughs> it's great. You know, I can, I can watch track that? my steps. And, uh, you know, I can connect my Bluetooth to this and listen to music while I... While I work out. That's what I was going to buy with my birthday money. All right, uh, employees, we're getting a lot of really bad reviews on the Yelper and the Trip Advisory, and I thought I would bring you young millennials into the break room and see what can be done to raise our ratings. Well, uh, I've got an idea. Yes, I, I want your ideas. I want okay. young and spry ideas. I'm old. Finally. All right. Well, I think obviously we should upgrade to the barcode system. People are complaining that they can't pay with barcode. Everyone's got one now. What kind of hoodie is that? Yeah, well, you just pay, you scan with the barcode. In your car? Yeah, you, I mean, classic boomer. Do you know what he's talking about? I'd like to turn it out and give it back. Okay, well, we're here for ideas. He said something about something in your barcode car that'll make payments. customers happy. Yeah, barcode payments. They're tired of paying with cash. It's antiquated in this modern world. Okay, 
What if it's not just the money? What if it's your bad attitude in the checkout line?
prices that you have to pay back is now two stamps. Wait, I... <laughs> 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 